Well, what are we going to talk about today? <laughs> Let's find out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today, what are we going to talk about? Well, we have a good old fashioned, wait for it, budget versus beauty. We haven't done one of these series in quite a while. So I thought it'd be kind of fun. I have a couple handguns that I have access to right now uh, that you've seen on the channel before um, that I think are good for this format. So we are going to take a look at, to start with, now, before I show you the gun, I want all you guys, every time I do a Taurus video or a video that has a Taurus in it, you know, people who own Tauruses get really, really sensitive because they assume everybody's going to dog on them. I like Tauruses. I've, I've been positive about it. So... Um, please, please, please watch the whole video before you just automatically assume I'm going to knock on them like a lot of people do. So that being said, I have my Taurus G3C. Um, so we're going to compare this today. I like this gun. Are there a few things that I wish were different on it? Absolutely. But that's the case on every single gun. Um, so what we have, this is in the budget comparison because this, you know, MSRP on it is right around $300. Market value right now, as of this filming, I'm seeing anywhere from 270 into the 350 range, depending on where you where you find it. Um, so that is the budget option. Beauty, and they're both black guns. Beauty just means a higher price gun in this in the as far as I'm concerned. Um, I mean, some of them are truly beautiful. But these are both just kind of average looking guns. But this is a six hour P365 XL. So I know what you guys are gonna say. Or some people, 365 is a much smaller gun than a Taurus G3C. The normal 365 is, yes. But, surprise, surprise, the 365 XL, the, st the statistics or specifications on these two firearms are very similar. Which we're going to go over that when we get over to the tabletop, just a more of an in-depth review. But I thought it'd be really fun to review these two, just to see the pluses and minuses on both of them, because... This is geared towards new gun owners, and we are still in a time when people are out trying to find guns. They might be having a hard time finding stuff in stock, although handguns are coming back into stock. Um, still having a heck of a time finding ammunition in a lot of places. So new gun owners have a wide range of stuff they can choose from, and I want to I talk to you know different budget levels. So anyway, let's get over to the tabletop and take a look at the guns. Then we're going to go out to the range and shoot them just to see what the results we have. And when we get done, we'll come back and talk about it. All right, guys, let's go have some fun. All right, guys, so here are the two firearms we were talking about. We have the Taurus G3C sitting here, and we have the 6 hour P365 XL sitting right here. And I have the specs pulled up, so we're just going to go, we're not going to do a full in-depth review, but I do want to show you, if you put these, how do I do this? We're not going to count the beaver tail extension on here as a width on the SIG, but if we put these two guns... Back a slide to back a slide, they're pretty close. I'd say the SIG's a little bit longer. Width-wise, the Taurus, you can see visually, is slightly wider overall than the SIG. And then if you are if you put them height-wise, you can see... You know, let's try to keep that lined up here. Overall, if you stack the sights and slides together, the grip is slightly longer on the Taurus be quite honest though, if, the, if this had a flush facing mag like the SIG does instead of the pinky extension, I think that height would be about the same. Sight picture, Taurus. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's try to focus this with the camera a bit. Um, okay sights, if you're in low light, the Taurus harder to pick up. Whereas the sight picture on the SIG comes standard with night sights. They are a lot easier to pick up day or night. Um, so those are kind of your differences. Let's look at the actual specs. So overall, let's start with length, as we, since we mentioned that. Length, according to the Taurus website, is 6.3 inches. And then the length on the P365XL, you are looking at 6.6. So you have a 0.3 inch variance. And like I said, I think that 0.3 inch is attributed to that extended beaver tail that the Taurus does not have. Uh, let's talk about height. So, according to Taurus, the overall height of the gun is, let's see here, uh, 5.1 inches. 
and then the SIG overall height, you're looking at 4.8 inches. So 0.3 inches difference, and again, I think that's because of the pinky extension on, on the Taurus. Uh, look at some other specs here. Width is where you're going to see, like I mentioned, the Taurus is a little bit wider than the SIG. Uh, the width, advertised width on the Taurus is 1.2 inches, whereas the width on the SIG is 1.1. So that's minimal. Um, and then we're talking weight. The Taurus is advertised weight at 22 ounces. And then the overall weight on the SIG is a little bit lighter, 20.7 ounces. So it is, you're talking 1 point, 20 ounces, 20.7, what was it, 22? It's 1.3 ounces lighter on the SIG than the Taurus. Uh, not going to make a huge difference, but it's there. Uh, trigger, start with the Taurus. I really like the trigger of the Taurus. It's, you can see here, has a fairly long take up, but once you hit it back here, nice break, reset, very short, very light. This is a gun you can shoot fast. The SIG, so less take up. Oops, take the magazine out. So a little bit less take up, brakes right there, it's crisp, heavier trigger overall, reset, right there, audible, brakes. To be honest, overall between the two, I personally like the feel of the trigger of the Taurus better. That's just my personal preference though. Um, magazines, this comes with two 12 rounders, this comes with three 12 rounders. So for a $300 price point, more magazines. Personally, I like the trigger a little bit better on this one, um, whereas this has a little bit less magazines. Um, sights are much better on the, on the SIG, I will say that. Uh, both have rails. Here's kind of a plus and minuses too, as well. The Taurus has a normal rail, so if you're going to put... I, don't, I personally don't put lights on guns this size, but you could, and it's got a standard rail. Whereas the SIG rail is proprietary, so you can either get a different grip module or a grip, um, uh, uh, what, how do you want to put it, like an adapter basically, to use, or unless, unless you want to use dedicated SIG attachments to it. To me, it's kind of a minus against the SIG. So overall, I mean, there's your overview. Oh, thumb safety, no thumb safety, although this does come with, there are versions, I believe, with the, the SIGs that you could get a thumb safety if you want to. You have one no matter what on the Taurus. So, basic overview between the two. Let's go to the shooting footage, go to the range, have some fun with it, and then I'll see you guys when we're done. All right, so with the targets I have hanging up here for you, on the left side is where we're going to shoot the G3C, and we are shooting the Blazer uh, 115 grain aluminum case. So we'll do the Taurus on the left, and then we'll full mag, and we'll do the P365 on the right. And we'll see what happens. My guess is, so with this G3C, I tend to have the same issues that a lot of reviewers do with the factory sights. It shoots crazy low. We're only shooting at seven yards, and I haven't shot this gun in a while. But, I mean, let's just see what we can do. And not that I don't like this gun, I do, but it's got a few issues for me personally. Holding dead center on the bullseye. Okay, so that was the Taurus. Let's see what happens with the SIG. Same ammo, same ammo on the right side. Holding the same, dead center on the bolt.
Well, let's take a look at the results. Okay, so now we're going to take the same shots. Um, left side again is with the G3C, and now we are using the PMC Bronze 124 grain. See how that goes. Doors G3C. Low. Okay, so it likes the brass 124 grain a lot better. Let's see how we fare with the P365. If I can talk today. Same dead center hold. Interesting. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that shooting uh, footage. I tried to make it not too long for you. But let's take a look at the targets now that we're back home and we can see them a little better. Um, let's start off with the G3C. We'll go in the same order we shot. We'll go to the G3C um, aluminum case, and then we'll go to the, G3, the, sorry, the P365XL aluminum case. Then we'll continue on with the brass. So this right here, if you can see it, is the target for the G3C that is the aluminum case uh, the, the, that we shot, the 115 grain. And so as I pointed out in the videos, I, I started off with a just a dead center hold. I did start having to move up a little bit as far as with the G3C. As I mentioned in the shooting footage, with the factory sights, I do tend to shoot low, as a lot of people do with that particular gun. And mine's an earlier production one, um, so maybe that's just me. But I know a lot of other reviewers on YouTube have had the same issue with the same gun. But overall, the magazine uh, that emptied into it, here's your group. As I adjusted hold, so instead of holding dead center in the, towards the end, um, I started holding right about here, which brought them up just a bit. But still, you know, self-defense range on a gun I don't shoot very often. Um, not, not too bad. For, it's not great, but it's not horrible. By comparison, here is the same ammo, the, the aluminum stuff out of the 365. And I was kind of surprised. So if you look at the two, I mean, they they print very close to the same, but I got to give the edge to the Taurus just a little bit, although I did not have to adjust my hold with this one. This is a newer gun to me. Quite honestly, I think the trigger is better on the Taurus than, than it is on the SIG. Uh, that's my personal preference. I like a lighter trigger. Uh, so let's look at the brass. So G3C... This went to the 124 grain PMC uh, bronze uh, out of a brass case. So Taurus, kudos. I mean, that's a that's a. I'll take that group. That's all day long. I had a little bit of a flyer over here, but covered up with your fist. And again, I literally have not shot this gun since I did the last video, which I don't know. It's been several months ago. Uh, the only thing I really do with it is play with, you know, play with it for dry fire, uh, just because I've been doing other stuff. So. Take a look at that. That's not a decent, not a bad grouping. Compa quite honestly, the grouping with the three with the SIG, again, I haven't shot this one as much. Um, so I was tending to shoot over to the side just a bit. Still good group. Um, but I, I still got to attribute trigger wise with my experience. Boy, I got I got to give it to to the, the Taurus. So remember what I said at the beginning earlier, you Taurus owners? I'm not always going to say bad things about Taurus. Some people actually like him, and some people will be honest about that on the review. Now when it comes down to what would I recommend for a new shooter, that's a toughie. Um, I want to I want to say both, and I, I really would say both. That It kind of depends on your budget, because if you've got a $300 or less budget, this is a great, reliable handgun, although... I did. If you saw my one video, I did have to send my first one back to Taurus. They replaced it with this one because there was an issue with it. Um, but right out of the box, but roughly $300 for this one, it's hard to beat it. Um, 
This one you're pushing, I've seen it again, between that six and 700 range. So it's basically double the price. Uh, but let's, let's see. I'm torn. In the factory configuration, the SIG, for my hands, I have, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I have large palms but small, shorter fingers which causes fit, fitment issues for me with some guns. Right out of the box, until I put this whole grip on this one, the grip was too small. I didn't like it. I had to add the grip to make it lock into my hands, and I'm still playing with it. Um, whereas, right out of the box, the Taurus feels awesome. Um, so I'm going to give it, I'm going to go that category to this. Sights, i got to be honest, unless you're bright light, the factory Taurus sights, this is where I'm going to say something negative. Close your ears, Taurus people, if, you, if you're going to get upset about it. But the sights on most Tauruses right out of the box suck. They really do. Uh, so in that case, if you're a new gun owner and you plan on getting better sights installed on, on this, if you don't have a sight press or don't have someone who can do it for you without charging, depending on the sights you choose, you're going to spend somewhere between 100 and 150 I would think, to get better sights installed on this. So then you're looking at a $450 price point, which is still 150 to 200 less than this one. But the sights on this particular handgun, they beat they beat the Taurus out of the water. So as far as sights and sight picture, I'm gonna give it to the SIG. Trigger, I like I mentioned a little bit earlier, I like I like a lighter trigger. Overall shooting, I think the trigger on the Taurus is my preference over this one. Um it's a lot lighter. This one's not a heavy trigger by any means, but it's the way it's designed. It's it's, a, it's designed to be a heavier trigger. Um, so trigger wise, I'm going to give it to the Taurus. Overall package, if I had to give it a recommendation right on the spot, uh, really, I'm going to probably say the Sig, and only because. Um, in my in my defense, I did have to get a replacement gun from Taurus, although their customer service was excellent. Uh, just on that note alone, the reliability between the two for me has been better with the Six Hour. But guys, they're both great guns, so take take that with a little bit of a grain of salt. Uh, anyway, you know, I hope you like this video, uh, and if you do, I really hope you share with people. Uh, hit that like button, uh, subscribe, and you know, I always hope to see you on future videos. All right, guys. Shoot safe.